Hello and welcome. Representing 3D in 2D. 3D means three dimensions and 2D means two dimensions. A 2D shape is a flat shape and it has only two dimensions, length and width. For example, an object like this, which is a 2D object, it has two dimensions, one is land and the other is flat. Say this is the x axis or x direction and this is the y direction. So this become a plane and this x y plane is a 2D plane and within this 2D plane we represent this 2D object very easily. How we can represent a 3D object or 3D shape in a 2D plane? So a 3D shape are solid object which has land breadth and depth but in 2d plane there are only two dimensions so but still we have to show this three dimension in a plane itself now see this table is a 3d object and we are representing this in a 2d plane but we can perceive it as a 3d object also so it has one dimension that is length another is breadth and another perpendicular to this plane xy plane there is another direction that is the height of the object so we need three dimensions length breadth and height to represent an object in a 2d plane now you see a piece of paper or the surface of a blackboard or chalkboard or even a whiteboard these are all examples of a plane surface actually that means 2d surface but we have to represent a solid object or a 3d object in this 2d plane itself for example this is a pyramid and 3d object and this can be represented in a 2d plane like this similarly a cylinder can be represented in a 2d plane in real world there is no 2d object whatever object you can imagine or you can think of all objects has basic two dimensions and there is also some thickness or depth of the object so in that sense a 2d object does not exist in this 3d world and i think only the 2d thing that exists is a shadow so this is the shadow of this 3d object and light is coming from the front side and the shadow is projected on a 2d plane and the shape is similar to that 3d object and the size and shape of this shadow depends upon the direction of the light that is projected on the body and accordingly 2d plane will show the shape and size of the shadow so this shadow is an example of 2d thing that exists in 3d world in my opinion this is 3D and the shadow is the 2D. Now there are many examples of 2D shapes like rectangle, triangle, circle, hexagon, etc. Examples of 3D shapes include cube, cone, pyramid, prism, etc. That we will discuss in details in this video and in the next video also. Now let us go to the main concept of the third dimensions. We have the two dimensions, idea of two dimensions. Paper is also a three dimension because this paper, piece of paper has got some thickness. But what about the printout taken in a piece of paper? These letters or sketch, whatever is printed on this paper, these are 2D in a sense and 3D in a sense because it has no height, but some people with higher perception of touch can feel the height or depth of these letters so in that sense this printout is also a 3d but generally we consider this to be a 2d thing there is a very clear example of printout which is actually a 3d and that is called the 3d printing in 3d printing the basic shape is taken and it is given some height by adding some material to this object based on the shape and size of the object so let us understand what is a 3d object or how we can represent a 3d object or 3d shape in a 2d plane and with this concept of adding material or adding depth to the 2d object we'll discuss a little bit about 3d object in a 2d plane 
so these are some of the 2d shapes like rectangle triangle pentagon and circle and in this two dimensions if we add the third dimensions that means if we add material in the plane perpendicular to this 2d plane then we will get a 3d shape or a 3d object now let us see how it can be done you see this is the basic shape and we are going to add material or add dimensions in the perpendicular direction so what we get we get a 3d object or 3d shape now okay these are all 3d shapes and this way we can represent the 3d shape in a 2d plane and there are other methods of representing let me show you the other methods this way also we can represent and the hidden lines are not shown here we can show the hidden lines also so this is the way we should represent a 3d shape or 3d object in a 2d plane and we will learn more about this now coming back to the original from this rectangle we get a cuboid here and from the triangle we get a prism this is a triangular prism and this is a pentagonal prism and this is a cone of course it depends on how the material is added or what is done in a 3d painting based on the shape required let us see how it is done so this is the basic shape in 2d now if we add material like this we'll get different type of shapes like this now you see this is not a cuboid now now this become a prism actually and this become a pyramid and this is also a pyramid this is a triangular pyramid and this is a pentagonal pyramid and this remain a cone so based on that how the material is added we get different shapes okay so this is how it is done and it can be represented again like this this is the representation with a pen and paper okay so this is also practiced in case of a 3d painting that means adding the third dimensions based on the shape required now why i am talking about 3d printing in a mathematics class because 3d printing is becoming very popular nowadays and there are many future prospects in this area also it has applications in all kinds of fields fields like education prototype and manufacturing in the field of medicine construction and art and jewelry and many other fields moreover schools and universities are incorporating 3d printing methods in curriculum and i think new education policy of india also consider this new emerging area so in the next video we'll discuss more about the shapes different terminology used in a 3d shape if you like this video i really appreciate if you subscribe to this channel and that way you will get the notifications of the future videos also thank you please wait for the next video